Greetings and welcome to Heart to Heart with Doc Martin, where I share with you some of my thoughts and challenge you to think differently. Today, I want to talk about having faith in the future. And this is something that comes up quite a bit. And when we talk about having faith in the future, it's all about not making assumptions about the future. It's all about not making assumptions that what's happened in the past is doomed to be repeated. Because the last time I checked, not every single situation is exactly the same. And what we end up doing, many of us, is we end up catastrophizing the potential opportunities in the future that haven't even happened yet based on things that occurred in the past. And so what I typically say to people is this, the future is fantasy land. The future is a dream. The future hasn't happened yet. And so you have a choice. You can either look at the future with positivity relative to a uh, anticipation of a positive outcome, or you can look at the future with the anticipation of a negative outcome. I'm going to go back to point one. It's a fantasy. It hasn't happened yet. So the truth of the matter is, is that the positive outlook for the future is just as valuable as the negative, because guess what? They haven't happened yet. And the other reality is that study after study after study show that our positively primed brains actually function better. And so what ends up happening is when we look at the future through a doom and gloom set of glasses, we actually set ourselves up to not function as well as we can. So if you look at the broaden and build theory by Barbara Fredrickson, they took subjects and they showed them images and the individuals primed to be positive noticed all the detail in the foreground as well as in the background and the people that were primed to be negative only saw the primary image in the foreground and missed everything in the background. If you look at a study by Estrada, who was looking at doctors' abilities not to anchor or get, you know, shall we say, uh, stuck on their initial thoughts about a diagnosis and how efficient they could be, what they discovered was that these physicians that were primed to be happy with candy, not eating it right then, but being given candy and allowed to eat it later, actually came to a diagnosis 20% of the way through the material and twice as fast as the control groups. So look, looking at the future with faith and positivity is a benefit to you because it actually makes your brain function better. Plus, it doesn't allow you to be steeped in gloom and doom and worry and anxiety because the future hasn't happened yet. So Here's my challenge to you. As you look to the future, despite your past, despite the fact that things might have happened in X, Y, Z way in the past, it doesn't mean it's going to happen that way in the future. That's my challenge to you. Think positively, not toxically, not everything's going to be well all the time, every day, but don't take past experiences and lay them over things that haven't happened yet. So, hey, don't forget to subscribe and click notification so you don't miss out on any of our heart to hearts, book reviews or interviews. And remember, life speaks to you. And if you think it doesn't, you're not listening. Take care, bye-bye.